Okay, so we did this factoring already. We factored this polynomial with long division. Now we're going to do it with synthetic division. So we're told one is a root. So what we do is we put one in a little box like this, little corner. And then we take our polynomial and we put its coefficients into in a line. So we have the coefficient of x cubed is 1. The coefficient of 3x of minus 3x squared, well that's just minus 3. The coefficient of x is minus 13. And then here we have the constant term positive 15. And then we draw a little line. And what we do is we just, first of all, bring this 1 down. 1. And then we take this term and multiply it by this one and put the result right here. So we have 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So let's put that here. And then we add down the column. So here we have minus 3 plus 1. That gives us minus 2. Okay, now we have 1. So let me maybe pick a different color again. Now we have 1 times minus 2, and that result goes right here. So 1 times minus 2 is still minus 2. And now we add down the column. And minus 13 plus minus 2 is minus 15. And again, take this 1 times minus 15, put it right here. And we just get a minus 15. And now we add down the column. 15 plus minus 15 is 0, which is good. That means we have no remainder. And now these are the coefficients of a, our quadratic polynomial. So this means we have 1x squared minus 2x minus 15 as our constant term. And the 1, the fact that 1 is a root, tells us that we also have x minus 1. And you can check, just multiply this out. This is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. So this is how you use synthetic division. If you know a root already, if you're told 1 is a root, you do this, you put that root up in this box, you do this little algorithm, this little process, and the numbers you get out are the coefficients of one of your factors. And x minus your root is the other factor. Okay, the last thing left to do is let's actually just factor this term. Uh, we need two numbers. They add up, or sorry, they multiply to minus 15 and add to minus 2. So that's going to be minus 5 and positive 3 multiply to 15, minus 15, add to minus 2. And so uh, finally, our final answer is this factor is as x minus 5, x plus 3, x minus 1 is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. And these two terms came from factoring this quadratic, which is probably more familiar to you. Okay, so that's synthetic division. We'll do more examples. See you then.